is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos that I upload. For my faithful family members, you all know I love you so much. Now guys, today I'm super excited because I am going to show you an area that I decorate for Christmas. This is going to be like my first area that I'm showing that I've decorated. So, um, this is going to be a pretty easy area to decorate, um, starting small. I am feeling much, 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 much better, but I'm a little bit nervous about climbing up on the ladder and things like that. So I'm waiting and I'm going to have my husband help me do some of the heavy or bigger projects, but I'm working on some of the smaller projects now. So I'm going to be showing you guys a little area that I decorate. And also before I get started with that, I'm going to share with you all these items that I picked up from Walmart to use in the space that I'm decorating. So if you guys want to see what I'm doing, just keep watching. Okay guys, so here are a few items that I picked up from Walmart for my tree upstairs. I mentioned to you guys previously that I was going to be doing teal and gold for my family room tree upstairs and I didn't have any teal ornaments or decor because I've never used teal before. So I did stop into Walmart and I picked up, as you can see, some items. So starting first, I did pick up this ribbon, um, this teal ribbon. It is sheer, you can see. I wish that it wasn't, but they didn't have any that was a solid color. So I thought that's fine. I will take the sheer ribbon because it is in the teal color. I also picked up several of these teal poinsettias and they are so pretty. You guys can see how pretty they are. I have used these many times in my um, previous decor colors in red and I think I have some in gold also and white for sure. I know I have red and white for sure. And so I did pick up some in this teal color. They were 97 cents or 98 cents each at Walmart. Um, I think I got six or eight of these and with the ribbon, it is 75 feet of ribbon for $7.98. That's a great price. So I did get two of these. Um, I did also pick up some of the gold poinsettias. Now they did have some that was a solid. This one you can see is kind of sheer like. They had some that was solid also, but they were very, very gold like almost orangey gold and I didn't want it to be that dark so I picked up these because I thought they looked really pretty together so I think I got six of these also of the gold ones I did also get several ornaments now guys I have to say I was I did go by the Dollar Tree and they didn't have any large ornaments. They did have one in the dark blue color like that one back there. So I grabbed that one, but that was it. So I was hoping that they would have had more, but they didn't. So I did just go ahead and get these at Walmart. They were $2.84, which for me is more than I would normally like to pay. You guys know how I do, but that's okay um, because they're gorgeous and they had it and so i didn't want to have to be driving all around the city searching for teal color ornaments i just want to go ahead and get it done and if i don't have a whole lot this year i'll use what i have and then after the season i'll get more for the previous years or for the years to come so i did get several of this one in the glittery teal and i also got some and this is kind of like an ice blue color but i thought it was so pretty and i thought it would look great with the teal um and i love the shape of this one and then i did get some in this blue color which is kind of like a gray blue they all were the same price 284 but you can see this color is very, very pretty. And I think it's gonna look great in upstairs. I wanted a variation of blues, mostly with the teal, but with some blues to add, you know, a little dimension to the tree because if you have just all one color, then it makes it fall flat, I think. So it's good to have a variety. And speaking of which, even in the same teal color, I did get this different shape. 
Uh, I mean, it has a different pattern on it. So I thought that one was really pretty. And I did get, they only had a couple like this and I took them. They were a little bit more at $3.98, so a dollar more. But I like how it has the little ornament inside. I thought that was so cute. And it gave me an idea. I might try to do a DIY with um, the little clear ornaments they have at the Dollar Tree and fill it in with a teal sprig or something. If I have time, if not, I won't worry about that. But anyway, I thought this was really, really cute. So I did grab, I think, two or three of these. And I picked up a couple of gold ornaments. I already have some um, that I did get from the Dollar Tree in years past, but they are not this design on it. They're just, I think I have some that are sparkly like this and then I have some that's like a matte finish. And so I wanted one that's kind of shiny with this texture on it. And as it relates to this, this one, this is a little bit darker color, more like a teal color. And this one, like I said, is like an ice blue. You guys can see the difference in the color there. So I did get, I think, two like this. And I think I got two like this one. Um, and then there was another lady there getting blue ornaments. And she was there before me. So she pretty much got the pick <laughs> of the litter. And I got what was left over. So there was only one um kind of royal blue matte color like this which i think is so very pretty so i will stop back by walmart again or maybe a different walmart and see if i can find maybe two or three more of this darker color so that's all of the ornaments there and then i did get this little pack of ornaments that is in this kind of gray blue color and there's some, you know, as you can see, they're smaller and there's some sparkly ones and just some with different patterns on it. I may or may not keep this. I don't know. I'll see how the tree looks with the larger ones and the poinsettias, but it was only $5 for 26. So I thought that was fair, but I did at, at the Dollar Tree get some also that I'll show you guys in just a second. So I may be taking these back. I haven't decided just yet. But at Walmart, I did also pick up this beautiful black ribbon. I like that it has a, a velvety side and then like a kind of matte side. So you can use either side or, you know, however. So I got this as an accent color because I kind of felt like um, everything's going to be so light. I wanted to have a little bit darker color to add in there. Um... So I did get, I think, two rolls of this, and it was $3.98 for 30 feet. So I got two of those, I believe. And then I also picked up some gold ribbon. You guys know I already have a lot of gold, but I thought this was so pretty. I love this netting. And even if I don't use this on the tree upstairs, I could use this on any of my other trees because you guys know I have gold. I'm going to be using gold throughout my home. Um, so I thought this was very pretty, so I grabbed that. And this one was $9.98 for 15 feet. So a little bit more expensive. I did get two of these because I was thinking um, if I don't use it upstairs and if I use it downstairs, I would need more than one. So I um, grabbed that. Then I also grabbed this ribbon, which is so pretty. And guys, I have to say, I thought this was a, probably the best deal of the day because look at the pattern on this ribbon. The backside is, you know, a little bit more to be desired. <laughs> it's not very pretty on the backside, but the front is so pretty and it's like a velvety um, feel to it. And then it has the little shiny parts. Um, this was $7.98 for 30 feet and is very wide, which I really like that a lot. And I thought that this would look really pretty paired with, uh -oh, paired with the teal ribbon. So I grabbed, I think I got two of these because I was also thinking that I could use this in, um, some of my other trees throughout my home 
So I thought these were so, so pretty. So those are all of the items that I picked up from Walmart. Now let me show you the couple of items that I did grab from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so these are the items that I got from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, this is the darker blue ornaments that they had there. This was the only one they had. So I grabbed it and you know, if I happen to be in there, I'll see if they have any more, but if not, I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm just gonna move on with what I have. They did have a couple of these also, and I have some of these from previous years, but I only have a couple, and I thought this added a really nice sparkle, and so um, I'm gonna pull out the ones that I have and see if I have enough. They only had three of these at my Dollar Tree, so I picked up those three, but I thought it would add a really nice sparkle, and even though they're not really gold, they're kind of a champagne-y color, you can see how they pick up the teal. So it's gonna look really, really pretty. So I have those. Then um, they also had in the Dollar Tree these little sparkly or glittery um, eucalyptus picks. And this is in a silver color, but I grabbed the silver and the gold ones. I think they had eight of the silver ones and six gold ones. These are the gold ones. So I grabbed the gold ones because I'm gonna put them in the tree. I like to use these kind of little things like this as a filler in the tree. And then I grabbed the silver ones because they're kind of reading like a teal color to me. So I felt like they might be a good, you know, filler also to kind of complement things to add some more dimension. So I think I have in total 12 or either 12 or 14 of these. And as it relates to the ornaments, they had these dark blue ornaments with silver. I will not be using the silver ones on that tree, but I might use them on a different tree. But these ornaments here, they're looking black on camera and they're not black. They're like a really dark blue. So I'm gonna see, I may or may not use these, but I'm pretty sure that I am. Um, so you got 12 for a dollar here. They're kind of small, but sometimes it's nice to have the smaller ones to fill in also. And then they had them in the sparkly finish as well. So I wanted some that were a matte or, or just, these aren't really matte, but just like a solid. And then the sparkly ones. Now this is a different color blue. It's not teal blue, it's more like a royal blue. But I thought that was pretty. And then they had some solid gold ones. And I probably have enough small gold ornaments, but because I'm using gold on so many trees, I thought that I'd just go ahead and grab them since they were only a dollar. And you get 15 of these smaller ones and 12 of the medium sized ones. And the medium sized ones are matte and sparkly. So I thought that was great. With these, this will probably be enough for me to do that one tree along with those, with the bigger ornaments that I got from Walmart. This would be plenty. So that is everything that I have. So now let's move on to the next thing. Okay guys, so a company called RW Flame sent me out this adorable little uh, electric fireplace. And so we're just unboxing it here. I'm going to have this fireplace upstairs. And um, yeah, once we got it out of the box, guys, I have to say it was much smaller than I had anticipated. And so I was planning to put it in one space, but once my husband got it out, <laughs> we were like, oh, okay, it's so cute and so little. <laughs> So I decided to put it in a different spot. So you'll see, I'm going to place it right in between in this little nook area upstairs right here between um, a guest bedroom and the bathroom. So my husband's putting it there and it's actually a pretty perfect fit. And there is an outlet right there. So um, it's easy to plug this in right into this space. And actually it's going to be fairly perfect. So um, it's not as big as what I thought and didn't work where I thought I was going to put it, but I think it's going to work perfectly fine right here. So guys, the fireplace also comes with a remote 
And as you can see, you just press the a button on the remote and the fireplace turns on. And um, there's different levels on the on the remote that you can choose from as well. I just simply turned it on and uh, you can see how cute it is. I love the wood, the dark cherry wood look of the fireplace and the fire looks pretty real. And right where I had my hand with those grates, that's where the heat is actually coming from. And guys, let me tell you, this little guy puts out a lot of heat. So I had to go ahead and turn that boy off because it's still hot here right now. So we got the air conditioner going. But as you open, as you move in closer, you can open um, the little uh, door on the front of the fireplace. And that's where you actually turn the power on and off. And there's other adjustment buttons there. So now it's time to go ahead and decorate the fireplace. So I'm using this large white vase and you can see the other side is not cute. Um, I did get this from a garage sale this past weekend. It was only $5 for the vase and a few other items. So I've already cleaned it off, but I'm just wiping it off one more time. I wanted to get the sticker off there. And I'm showing you I'm using some florals that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They were um, $10 for this little bunch, but they were 50% off. So I got it for $5 or two for 10 basically. So I'm just separating it a bit and then I'm gonna add that right into the top of the vase. And I think that looks really, really cute. And then I'm showing you guys, I picked up this really cute little um, box from Ross. It was $11.99. And guys, I'm kicking myself because I saw a bigger one at another Ross and I didn't get it. <laughs> I wish that I had. But I went ahead and grabbed that one and I'm showing you my little Big Lots reindeer. I showed you those already in a previous haul. And I think this little reindeer guy is perfect for this little box. It sits there perfectly. And so I'm using the other larger reindeer from Big Lots um, to pair it with to complete this look. And now I'm using some of the ribbon that you guys saw uh, that I got from Walmart. I'm just measuring out a little bit that I might use. And here I'm using, these are some napkin rings from Totally Dazzled. If you guys want information about Totally Dazzled and all of their beautiful bling items, then check my description box down below. I will have it listed there. And so, as I mentioned, this is a napkin ring, but it's going to be a bling collar for this little reindeer guy here. So, isn't that beautiful? I just added a little ribbon there to make it like a collar and to really make the gold bling pop against the gold reindeer. And I think it's so cute. And now I'm using a brooch from Totally Dazzled as well to place in the center of a piece of ribbon that I'm using on the other reindeer that's the standing one now guys this is why i wish that the ribbon was not sheer so i'm doing this for now but i might change it later and then i'm showing you the little ornament that i did get from walmart there and that completes the look i think it's so cute i think this little fireplace is adorable and it's the perfect spot to add some decor in a place that normally goes neglected, right? I never generally decorate anything here. I have the picture there and usually there's a little lion on the floor and that's it. So now this space is just adorable. So be sure to leave me a comment down below to let me know what you guys think. Also, if you want more information about the fireplace, check my description box. I will have it listed there. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You know that helps me out tremendously. Also, it helps me when you leave comments. So be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think about my cute little space and um, this new color scheme that I'm doing for Christmas this year in our family room upstairs. Also guys, you wanna make sure that your notification bells are clicked and on because I next I'm going to be showing you how I decorate the family room Christmas tree upstairs. It is a smaller tree. It's a seven foot tree. I think seven and a, or seven and a half foot tree. So um, so it's going to be a bit easier for me to decorate. So I'm going to go ahead and get started decorating on that in the next video. So if you want to see how to decorate a tree, um, then be sure to come back by. All right, guys. Again, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos for my faithful family members. 
You all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.